And I did want to mention, uh, you know, this brother's career went from railroad maintenance worker to, you know, army battalion leader to uh, professor, advisor, consultant of many things. Now, when you think about, uh, before I continue in his obituary, when you think about um, what it takes for you to free yourself from this oppression, this psychological oppression, this socioeconomic oppression that we live in, okay? One of the basic, the first thing is survival. You go to the army and you learn that. You lead a battalion, especially in those times, you learn that, okay? You learn your discipline, you learn your survival skills, you get all of that. He worked as a maintenance worker, railroad maintenance worker, waiter, cook. You learn the people, you learn how to deal with people, learn socialism, sociology, you know, stuff like that. And then he educated himself. So he was good with his weapons, he was good with his health, he was good with his mind. You feel what I'm saying? He went out and got all of those. He didn't just read a book about it, he went into the army for two years. You know, he didn't just, you know, um, keep reading, he went and got doctorates. You know, he didn't just talk about work ethic, he went and did it. You know, so he got a very well-rounded view of the world. And that's something that many of us are lacking and we can get from Dr. Hilliard in the Baseline Essays because we've been disenfranchised. So I just wanted to um, mention that before I continued on. In 2001, Dr. Hilliard was installed as Development Chief for Mancranso, Ghana. This was in 01. So after this long life, you know, he went to Ghana and served as development chief for Mancranso. And given the name Nana Bafor Amankwatia II, which means generous one, in Ghana they gave him that name. Dr. Hilliard spent more than 30 years leading study groups to Egypt and Ghana as part of his mission of teaching the truth about the history of Africa and the African diaspora. He co-chaired the first national conference on the infusion of African and African-American content in school curriculum in Atlanta. Dr. Hilliard was a founding member and first vice president of the Association for the Study of Classical African Civilization, or ASCAC. Dr. Hilliard was also a key advisor for the African Education and Every African Child Conference, held in Mali and sponsored by the government of Mali. This is, he was here educating and then he actually went to Africa and he started the African Education for Every African Child Conference. You know what I mean? He's in Africa saying for every African child we'll have African education. And then after he came here and fought for us for so long. Um, some of his research and writings, Dr. Hilliard has authored more than a thousand publications including journal articles, magazine articles, special reports, chapters in books, and books. Some of his publications include The Maroon Within Us, selected essays on African American community socialization, The Reawakening of the African Mind, Affirming African Indigenous Socialization in the Face of the Cultural Wars, Teaching of Tahota, the oldest book in the world. Young, gifted, and black, promoting high achievement among African American students, and many others. There's a long list. What's that other one? <clears throat> the last one? The one before it. Young, gifted, and black. No, the one before that. The teachings of P T A H H O T E P, Tahota. The oldest book in the world. And those are just a few of his publications, of his uh, works. Some of his awards. He has received hundreds of awards and recognition from many prestigious organizations and institutions, including the Morehouse College Candle in the Dark Award in Education, National Alliance of Black School Educators Distinguished Educator Award, American Evaluation Association President's Award, Republic of Liberia Award as Knight 
Commander of the Humane Order of African Redemption, New York Society of Clinical Psychologists Award for Outstanding Research, Scholarly Achievement and Humanitarian Service, Association of Black Psychologists Distinguished Psychologist Award, Association of Teacher Educators Distinguished Leadership Award, an award from the Kappa Delta Phi Honor Society Laureate Chapter, American Educational Research Association Committee on the Role and Status of Minorities in Education, Research and Development Distinguished Career Contribution Award, American Association of Higher Education Black Caucus Harold Delancey Exemplary Educational Leadership Award, American Association of Colleges for Teacher Thurgood Marshall Award for Excellence, on the occasion of the 50th anniversary observance of the Brown versus Board of Education Topeka decision. Dr. Hilliard was a fellow with the American Psychological Association and has received honorary degrees from DePaul University, Doctor of Humane Letters, and Will Lock College Doctor of Education. Some of his family, he is survived by his wife, Patsy Jo Hilliard, and four children, Asa G. Hilliard IV, Robbie Hilliard Heron, Dr. Patricia Hilliard Nunn, and Michael Hakeem Hilliard, and seven grandchildren. So that was the obituary of the most honorable Dr. Asa G. Hilliard. Just reading his obituary, I don't know about y'all, but to me it's inspiring, man. Um, it, it, I got chills up my, up my back right now just thinking about it. The brother uh, spent his whole life giving to us, man. And what's so deep to me is I have never considered myself to be uh, the greatest leader or even the greatest seeker. And um, it's amazing that he died in 2007 and that we fell upon these baseline essays in 2009 right at the end. You know, maybe another few years we may not have been able to find these, you know. so. Um, I thank him. I thank Dr. Hilliard. I feel his presence now, and I feel like we're doing um, good work. I feel like we're picking up where, where he left off, where he would want us to be.